Hi there, this is Chris Bell with EdTech Team. Today I'm going to show you how to change the header in your Google Classroom and create a custom theme. Let's get started. So this is the header in your Google Classroom. Whenever you open a course up, and the theme that you selected or that was assigned to you is dependent on the course title that you put in there. Google will select it based on algebra or science or other. But let's say I want to change it. I click, I click select theme. And then I go in and I have these choices here. And there are a lot of choices. And I will select the soccer. I think they're missing baseball. Personal gripe there. But that's OK. So we'll select uh, soccer. And there, voila, my theme is set. Now let's say that I want to create my own theme. Well, I have to actually upload a photo in order to do that. But you can't just upload any photo. What you have to upload is a very specific size. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to do that in Google Drawings. So you open up Google Drive, and you go to Google Drawings. And I need to give it a title, my Google Classroom theme. Now I need to change the shape of it so that it's the correct size. So I'll click File, Page Setup, Custom, and I need to change this to Pixels. And this needs to become 2,000 by 400 pixels. There we go. Now it's blank, and I can add lots of things from the insert bar. I'll show you how to add a text box. Let's go. Insert a text box, and there's not much there. I can change the color. So use the fill color and select your preferred background. And there you have it. I could go back here and I can add a border I have the border be 16 and I could change the border color to yellow very similar Google Classroom uh, and then I can insert uh, text into that now I'm going to insert a very specific text box here and change the there we go Mr Bell's awesome class. I need to change that font size. So I'll change that to something that looks great in there. And I'll probably change my font color to white because it stands out. And maybe I don't want this uh, border, so I'll click transparent. There we go. And then I can insert uh, shapes and so forth. Once I'm ready to download that, all I have to do is click File, Download, JPEG, and then that will file will download, and then I import it. Now let's import the one I created before I started. There we go, I got my Bitmoji character. And maybe I want to add a nice little white border or to look like Dodgers. Sorry, all you Giants fans. There we go. Uh, let's do this. Let's undo that. Let's insert another text box. Give it a nice border in there. Okay. And oh, look at that. It hides it. I'll show you how to fix that. But first, let's do a white border and 16. And then what I'll do is I'll move it backwards using order, send backwards, order, send backwards again. There we go. Beautiful. So I'll download my header, file, download JPEG. And once it downloads, I'll go over into my Google Classroom, 
select upload photo, drag my photo up there, and then there we go. Oh, it doesn't want to do it the way I want it to. And there we go. Select class theme. And now my class theme is updated. So I hope that helps. Uh, you create a theme or find the theme that you're looking for. Uh, be sure to uh, add to the comments if you're looking for additional resources. Uh, and also be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks and have a great day.